looking back, Rajiv, because I know that you were uh, pretty critical of the way the lockdown was enforced and all of that. Uh, we've spoken about it as well. Now, looking back, uh, would you still say that the manner in which it was done and the impact it had uh, could have been avoided and that would have reduced the pain? Or do you feel differently now? No, I feel even more strongly so because, first of all, uh, I'm given to believe by whatever I hear in the media that cases have plummeted in India. And I, I know that the vaccine has barely been rolled out. So what has happened? It's very simple. Uh, uh, however bitter it may sound, that we are a very populous country mm. of relatively large number of illiterate, ignorant, and a very large number of indisciplined people. So when you put all this together, what you get is simply herd immunity. Now, herd immunity is thought of as a bad word. Uh, it's not like you go out there and stick your face in, uh, uh, you know, in the face of someone that's infected. Uh, asking to get COVID. That's not herd immunity. It means that you take every possible precaution, but it is inevitable that, uh, uh, you know, like in a slum just 200 meters from uh, from where I live and from where I'm talking to you, if there are 1,200 people there, how come 40% of them tested positive, largely asymptomatically, as far back as in June? Because they're all living in a slum. It's bound to happen. So I think, um, I feel even more strongly than before that the lockdown should have been sensitive to take into account two things, if I may say so. First of all, it should have been customized. Hmm. In for example, is some like say for myself who is not vulnerable, i.e., in terms of age, in terms of health problems, or in ter terms of occupation. I mean, I'm not a frontline medical worker. I do not see absolutely any reason, even today, why people like me, and of course, people much younger and much healthier than me, were locked up for months together, you know, which means it impacted our livelihoods significantly and i don't buy this uh, rubbish about you know but you have to protect the elders at home and all of that we all know how to do that i would have moved into my brother's house and uh, you know not jeopardized uh, uh, my father's uh, health uh, mm -hmm. if i had had that advance warning i mean uh, give us that much credit you know people know how to uh, uh, do the basics for themselves so first of all it should have been more customized there was no need in one sweeping generalization to lock up such a young and relatively healthy country. Right. And the second thing I would say is it should have been more calibrated. Even industries, um, for example, manufacturing industry, uh, to the best of my knowledge, uh, Triumph, for example, in the UK, being an industry that uh, you know cannot run unless you are actually standing there on the shop floor making parts mm. or assembling bikes mm. was allowed to operate. Mm. Whereas, uh, let's say an IT industry or a bank that can operate from home, fine, then you work from home. So that is the second thing that should have been done, that you should have calibrated the response, you know, somewhere 50% attendance, somewhere 33%, somewhere 10% at least, etc. I think this uh, zero, 100 to zero response overnight without warning uh, sweeping generalization. Uh, I don't think we've done ourselves any favors. Right. Terms, I don't. So, I don't think whether in terms of lives or livelihoods, we have, uh, we really have that to thank for it.